Bonjour et bonjour everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, those who are here for the first time. I welcome you. I hope this is the first time. Please scroll through my page. You can see other notes, discussion on Fiji year 12 and 13. And sometimes it can be general like my um, exposure to essay, parts of speech, etc. So once again, I welcome you. And like the title states, we will discuss on language of science. This is for year 12 register or variety of English. So today's notes I have taken from the 2023 English detail solution from your Fiji year 12 certificate examination. Eh? So just go on your past year papers uh, website and then you will look at the 2023 past year uh, sorry, yes, um, Fiji Year 12, English Detail Solution. So the reason why I've made these notes just accessible where it's easy for you to look at, because uh, while I'm discussing, you can go and look at it if you've already printed it out. And just, um, you, you can write like short notes on the side of your margin or in the paper to help you with your understanding. So without further ado, let's begin. Eh? Now the purpose, once again, these are some frequently asked questions. Every year, we look at the same or similar questions, but the samples changes. Eh? So kids, most of the questions, they come in the purpose. Eh? The purpose, this is the why. Why is the, the register given to you? So in some, it can be inform or to instruct. So whenever you're writing your answers in the exam, it has to be like this. It has to be in a full sentence. Eh? So in the, in the marking scheme, You'll always see this. Write complete sentences. Do not repeat answers or features. So answers must be written in complete sentences. If three or more incomplete sentences, then either marker will have to deduct half mark from the total. So let's not repeat silly mistakes. And once again, this is um, while doing this video, we are months away. So you have enough time to practice, practice, practice. Eh? So, okay. All right, let's go back. So the purpose of the why, it is to inform, that is half mark, about from the title. Just title, eh? Don't say to inform the students or whatever about um, the notes. No, you have to be specific and that will give you your half mark. The mode is how it is given to you, which is usually written, eh? The tone. The tone, look at this, very important uh, students. It is either formal, neutral, impersonal or objective. All of these share the same sentiments. Eh? They are always formal. Formal, we should know by now, we're in year 12. They lack personal pronouns, they lack slangs, they lack the personal writing um, features. Eh? So please always remember these are the tone that you can use. Sources are usually science textbooks, science journals, science magazines, or science manuals. All right, let's move on to linguistic features. Can you please write somewhere, and always remember, when you are asked about linguistic features, you are looking at the words. Once again, when you are asked the linguistic, this is the words. You're not looking at the pictures. You're not looking at the heading or the bold print. These are the words, linguistic features. Okay, concise word example, liter. They have to be concise or exact. All right. Next one is a scientific jargon. Example, molecules, photosynthesis, uh, masticated, etc. Present, pr sorry, present tense verbs. Example, conducts. So everything is in present tense. Eh? Literal or specific words. Example, effervescence. Wide use of nouns, especially concrete nouns, eh? because science deals with facts. If it is not seen, if it cannot be uh, quantifiable, they do not deal with it. Okay, So it has to be concrete nouns. The use of articles. Remember what are articles? A, N, and the. Remember, article is a part of speech. So example of articles are A or A. N, A, N, and the, T, H, E. The passive voice is used as science is concerned with results, not identities of people. So passive voice, we all know by now that active voice is subject, verb, object. 
passive voice is inverted. We will have the object first, verb, and then subject. Because since science or language of science deals with results, we will look at the object first. Okay, impersonal subject. Impersonal subject, there is another feature. Then we will move on to sentence structure. Not sentence voice, sentence structure. So sentence structure is usually complex, compound, sorry, or complex. By now, I hope you already know what is the difference. When you have a compound sentence, there is more information given. Complex, this means extra, more than what is needed. Because you have to be very specific when you deal with language of science. Then the last linguistic feature is learned or academic English. Okay, when we look at samples, then we will go through all these features and you can identify it. Awesome. Now let's move on to non-linguistic features. So we looked at linguistic features before and that dealt with words. So we are looking at non-words. So when the question comes, look, identify a non-linguistic feature. Right now, you're not going to look at the words or the sentence structure or the jargons. You will look at the other features that are there, which is the non-words. So use of symbols. So for example, water. The scientific symbol for water is H2O or other um, other science symbols like O2. Okay, This is usually for chemistry or even you can have it for um, some kind of formula. So those will be all of your symbols. There will be diagrams or figures or formulae, formula tables. There will be headings and subheadings, capitals, the labels and the arrows, parentheses or parentheses. This is the words that are in brackets. Once again, a lot of kids have had this confused. Please remember the parenthesis or parenthesis. These are the words in brackets. Bold. Now, we don't usually have it as a typical feature when it comes to language of science. Please do not always go to. That shouldn't be your go-to when it comes to your non-linguistic feature. Now, remember, this is a very recent um, detailed solution. So you have to get with times. If your teacher is still teaching you or you are always resorting to using bold as a typical feature, please resort to not doing that and look at the other features that are there, which is plenty. Eh? So instead of saying bold, you can write down headings and subheadings. Eh? All right. Now let's look at the question six from our paper in 2023. Eh? Before you answer the questions, I want you to first look at the sample. Sometimes when you are doing your revision, or from now onwards, when you do your revision, before you look at the question, go through the sample. Identify all the linguistic and non-linguistic questions. First, you have your title or your heading. So what feature is that? Is it a linguistic or non-linguistic? Yes, it's a non-linguistic feature. So let's go to our first uh, uh, sentence, blood tests have a wide range of uses and are one of the most common type of medical tests. Looking at that sentence, let's first identify what sentence type. i give you a second. Yes, it is a compound sentence. A big indicator that it's a compound sentence because we have and, a fanboy. Okay, remember compound sentences are two independent clauses joined together by a conjunction or a, cohes or a cohesive. Okay, moving on. For example, a blood test can be used to access, sorry, assess your general state of health, check if you have any infection, see how well certain organs such as the liver and kidneys are working, screen for certain genetic condi conditions. All right, from now, you can also see another feature, okay? There is the non-linguistic, which is the listing or these bullet points. We have linguistic feature, jargons, infection, all right? We also have parenthesis or parenthesis in this sentence, okay? Students, uh, parenthesis or parenthesis, the reason why I'm saying both of that, because our pronunciation, eh? I just want you to have the spelling correct, 
so pronunciation isn't as important right now so parentheses can also be indicated by commas okay see how well certain organs this can be replaced with a um, a bracket such as the liver and kidneys are working so that is a linguistic sorry a non-linguistic feature screen for certain genetic conditions now most blood tests only take a few minutes to complete and are carried out at your gp surgery a general practitioner surgery or local hospital by a doctor nurse or phlebotanist sorry if i butchered that word a specialist in taking blood blood samples all right so another um, linguistic feature i've seen is concrete nouns so blood that's a concrete noun you have doctor nurses those are all concrete nouns so let's refer again to our notes what other linguistic feature do you see so we've looked there's a few concise or exact words they're scientific jargons we've seen lit present tense use of nouns a lot of nouns there's articles okay there's impersonal subject meaning there is no specific subject or ui or personal pronouns eh? and we looked at the sentence structure which is compound and a lot of learned or academic english right some learned or academic english certain genetic conditions a phlebotomist phlebotomist sorry okay doctor right those are all language um yes language or linguistic features okay let's go straight to the questions state the purpose of this sample the purpose of the sample is to inform patients or those needing the service about blood tests okay now this is very specific it is not to science students now once again students you need to in you need to uh, expose yourself to a lot of questions when you expose yourself to a lot of questions you are not limited to what you see in school so you go through a lot of pasture papers so obviously this blood test it won't be in a textbook okay it won't be in a, um, in a medical or science journal this will probably be at a um, hospital there can be notices on the walls when, before you take your blood or maybe your your doctor will give this to you to inform you about what you need to do for your blood tests All right and then we will move on to question number two state the evidence now the evidence is the title obviously of the sample or information about blood tests identify the audience look at this this is now being specific the patients or those needing the test or service please students take note of the spelling eh? some of you are spelling your patients the other patients the noun or the um, the abstract uh, noun eh? which is p-a-t-i-e-n-c-e it's t-s please uh, there is also a spelling error you might lose marks if you write any other patient last question explain the importance of the heading mark the importance which will be mark uh, sorry name one mark and the other mark come from explaining the importance so the main headings help to organize the content making it easier for readers to follow next time they highlight the key points or ideas in the sample allowing readers to quickly identify ease of reference engagement accessibility so these are all things that you can use instead of always saying uh, attracts the reader's attention i know that's what you guys love to resort to please think at a year 12 level you are now in year 12 eh? so please think along these lines remember continue to um, practice practice press practice and you become more better in what you are doing for these registers yeah, or register register question sorry so thank you once again students um this is a very brief like the title states um discussion on language of science so thank you so much once again subscribe if you haven't like i see a lot of comments on um some suggestions thank you and i'm trying my best to keep up and uh, giving you as much as i can uh, thank you once again and we're not